Good day, good day. How the honk are ya? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything about Land Rover. This is your friend Dan O. Yeah, welcome to a one up Wednesday. Yeah, guess what we got here? Do you know what it is? This is a gem. I and I am not sure where I got this bugger. I believe I got this one off eBay. I, I couldn't tell you, you know, because I get hit on the head a lot and I, I don't retain much uh, knowledge. But anyway, <laughs> are you ready to find out what this this bugger is? Well, I am. I can't wait to tell you. Bam! Oh, it's upside down. Sorry. But bam! Look at there. This is a Land Rover, a Lone Star product made in England. Yes. All right. Well, I've got a little ditty about uh, the Lone Star company here. Uh, I picked up uh, Lone Star Wikipedia is what I'm uh, referring to. Uh, we're just going to, I'm just going <laughs> to, I just got to get this out of the way. I believe I, yes, I did pick this up on eBay now that I think about it. Um, and you can see we have a transplant axle here. This is not the original axle. Uh, actually, the, the back wheels are the original uh, wheels and tires there. Um, but uh, the, this is the way I received it. And this is the way it's going to stay. <laughs> Unless, by chance, I get uh, another Lone Star something or other that I can scavenge these wheels off of. But um, right now, that's what we got. Um, all right, let's take a look at uh, what uh, Lone Star... Lone Star Product L LTD is a brand name used by a British company... Diecast Machine Tools LTD, uh, which is DCMT, and based in Wellham Green, Hertfordshire, north in of north of London, and uh, started uh, 1939. Uh, you know, I don't know. I could not find any information on how old this bugger is. Um, 40, 40 some plus years. It's uh, series one, as you see, uh, bit roughly based uh, 143rd scale. But anyway, let's talk about the company. Uh, started in 1939, the Lone Star product, uh, product and um, ups and downs and ins and outs, and finally, uh, company Welco, W E C O. Bought them, and uh, they made fireworks uh, up until 1983, and thereafter uh, took over and uh, yeah, merged and all this. And I guess in 2001, this um, Weco W E C O company dropped the toy line and just uh, continued on with fireworks, which is sad. <laughs> Interesting fact, though. Here's your interesting fact about the Lone Star uh, Company. It was interesting that this little company, Lone Star, was the first toy producer to respond to Hot Wheels hit the low with their hit of low friction wheels in their Impies, Impies series. Um... So that's kind of interesting, uh, you know, that they were the first uh, toy manufacturer to really go head-to-head, -head, I suppose because they were so small and uh, able to, uh, you know, move around and, uh, you know, get into uh, the uh, hot new thing uh, speared by Hot Wheels, the uh, low-friction wheels. But anyway... Uh, later on, and I don't really know exactly when, and I would love to get some, um, they did make a, like, Tootsie Toy style Land Rover, and it's a, a 109, it's a, just a little bugger, and a Tootsie Toy is just a uh, stamp steel with bogey wheels, I, I don't have any Tootsie Toys right here next to me, but, uh, 
they did make it. It's a 109 pickup with a with a cab on it. Really kind of cute. It would be neat to get uh, one of those. But uh, what we're looking at here, and like I say, I'm sorry, I could not find anything uh, as far as dates when this was produced. But um, it does still have its uh, little plastic <laughs> steering wheel. Don't have front tires, but we got the plastic steering wheel. So this would be the RAC uh, rendition of this model. They made this blue one with the RAC, which came with a uh, pickup cab on it. So there would be a cab. And then it also had uh, uh, no windows, um, uh, not cam, not, uh, it was a hard top tilt. And that had the RAC, I believe, on the door and on the window. But you could also, on this blue one, it came with a trailer, which was just about as big as this. And uh, this side had a window on the trailer that would flip open and uh, big blue, a single axle, but that would hook up onto this. The other one was a red one. They did a red one as well uh, that was uh, pretty sharp. Uh, didn't have a matching trailer or anything like that. I mean, you gotta look at the details. I mean, it's got the little bumperettes for the the tire to rest on the the you know the, the hinges here. Uh, it did. It's missing its uh, little plastic um, antenna there, but uh, just really, just really a good uh, casting. I mean, you know, the bottom is pretty blank there. Two rivet construction there. And then the other one that they did was uh, a military uh, OD green, and that did have a lorry that had a radar um, uh, apparatus on it. So that was the three, the three one, the three different uh, uh, variations. But this is in the collection here, the one of. Lone Star, and I, I don't know really how much I paid for it. I, I think that a lot of collectors uh, shied away from it on eBay because of the uh, wonky wheels and the condition. But uh, it's the one of that I have. It's an example, you know, an example that I can hold on to and say, hey, yeah, uh, metal on metal construction. You know, it's got the rubber wheels on it. You know, here's what you know it roughly looked like. Uh, so I, I, this is one of my prides and joys. I really love this model. So yeah, it's got some wonky wheels, but don't we all have some wonky wheels, huh? <laughs> there you go. Well, how many of these little buggers do you have? I don't know. I don't think these were ever really sold in the States. I think this is a UK toy, uh, that somehow made it over here to the States or, uh, I don't usually buy, uh, overseas on eBay. But, uh, so I, I really don't think that I, I bought it from an overseas person. But uh, there you go. That's our one of Wednesday. While we close it out here, I do want to mention that uh, if you want to roll over, I do happen to have uh, things for sale. Go over onto Facebook there and check out uh, these items that I have for sale. I'll work with you on uh, shipping. So uh, buy them all. I've got plenty of these. Uh, that's kind of why I'm kind of putting them up for sale is I've got quite a few of those. So if, if you're looking to uh, add to your collection, uh, go right ahead. Check me out on Facebook, Roverland. And uh, while you're looking around, I've got links uh, in the description below. So if you want to just go down there and click, that's fine. Also on Instagram at Roverland Channel. And, you know, guys, thanks a lot for sticking around and watching um, one I got, I got to remind you guys, if you like what you see, subscribe. Yes. Give me a thumbs up. Also that that's a thumbs up if you can't tell, but anyway, uh, give me a thumbs up. That also helps grow the channel. Drop a comment. Which one of these do you have? Do you have the OD green? Do you have the blue? Do you have the blue one with the trailer that goes with it? The RC, the RAC trailer, or do you have the red one? And, uh, yeah, does yours have all its wheels or do you have some <laughs> makeshift wheel? I'm sure that those are some kind of, says PR on it. I wonder if some toy collector out there actually knows where those are from. Maybe they're, maybe they're old. Maybe they're not. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. It's a one-up Wednesday. 
Lone Star Wednesday. And my friends, as I get out of here, I just want to remind you, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover Day!